everybody. It's Sarah Marbury. Today I'm speaking with Mark Campanile, the racket man. And Mark is a master racket technician. He's an inventor, a published author, and also a consultant. And the reason I'm reaching out to Mark right now is because I have some questions about racket care during this time of idle tennis. So hi, Mark. How are you doing? Great, Sarah. How are you doing? Uh, hanging here. in there like everybody else. So my first question is to you. Um, most of us who uh, play USTA League Tennis um, are idle right now. We have been for probably, I think, three weeks now. And the other day, I looked at my rackets and I thought, hmm, should I be doing anything to preserve the health and well-being of my racket? Because it's just been lying around for three weeks. And, you know, should I be concerned about this? Well, the first and most important point is that everybody should store their rackets in their house. So anybody who has left their rackets in the um, trunk of their car or in their garage that is not heated, this is, a, this is a dangerous thing for both the racket frame and the racket strings. Strings are very, very sensitive to heat and to extreme cold. So that, that's the number one point. Uh, the number two point is it all depends on how often that you normally string. If you are uh, somebody who is very attentive to your rackets, you play four or five times a week and you're stringing every three weeks, every four weeks, then I would say, yes, go ahead and string. If you're just a normal player who um, you know, plays maybe one to two twice a week, then um, what I think is that you should um, uh, treat your rackets, uh, your strings, uh, and think of them like rubber bands. Because what happens is, um, say you have a, a stack of papers and you put a rubber band on it, and the rubber band's been there for you know, a lengthy period of time. When you take the rubber band off, it has um, lost its elasticity, and it has, in, 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 in certain terms, lost its energy. And that is the same thing with strings. Strings, when you string your racket, is always um, under tension. And, wh and when you're playing, there, are, there is more duress on the strings because you're making contact with the ball and, um, uh, and you're putting spin and uh, you know, slice on, on, the, uh, on the ball. So that hurts the strings more. When the strings are sitting still and not being used, then what happens is they're still under tension and they are still losing tension and losing energy, but not at the same uh, pace as um, you would if you were playing. Got it. Those are all great ideas. Um, but now I'm thinking, okay, well, when I do start playing again, which I hope is within the next month, should, should I get my rackets restrung before I start playing again? Well, you know, um, hopefully in the next couple, in this next month, um, it's going to be sunny outside and warmer, and we will be playing outside. Now, generally speaking, um, if you're a person who only strings a couple times a year, I would say yes, because string for the indoor season, string for the outdoor season. And um, especially when you play outside, you want to string just a couple of pounds looser because you have to deal with elements you know, wind, um, you know, dirt and grime from the court, et cetera, et cetera, um, where you need a, a little bit more natural power and you get that from looser strings. Um, and, you know, you don't, you have to look at the last time you, you strung your racket. If it was back in October, I would say, yes, it's time to string. Got it. So that, that makes me think of another question. So how often should, should we be restringing our rackets in normal times? You know, um, there's an association, the United States Racket Stringing Association, and, you know, originally they said if you play twice a week, you should string twice a year. Um, Wilson has come out with some new data that says you should double that. Hmm. So if you're playing twice a week, you should string four times a year. And, um, you know, somebody who is very active and into uh, playing a lot of tournaments, a lot of leagues, a lot of USTA teams, they would string more because they're more in tune with um, keeping their, their rackets and their strings fresh because it's always nicer to go out with a freshly strung racket. You just get so much more response on the ball. 
Okay, well, so you mentioned, um, you know, your pro shop, and I know you, that's in the Northbrook Rec Club, correct? Yeah, that's correct. Um, but so where, so people could find you there once the club opens, but where could they find you now if they wanted questions or wanted you to string a racket for them? Right, well, that, that's a good question. They could go to my website and, um, and then they could contact me through my website if they chose. Um, it's Which is, what, what's the URL? Uh, the, the, the website is theracketman.net. Okay, theracketman.net, yeah, great. And rac racket is spelled R-A-C-Q-U-E-T. And then right, I, okay. Yeah. All right, good. Um, anything else you wanna add? No, I think we covered everything. You know, it was great talking to you today. I really appreciate the, the airtime.